Dear poor people, there is no such thing as co-parenting. We have this gentleman here on TikTok that has a lot to say about co-parenting, and I'm not saying he's wrong. However, there is no such thing as co-parenting, and let's take a listen, and I'll tell you why. Co-parenting is taken so lightly in this generation, like, I'm sorry, some of y'all, <laughs> I don't understand you, and we'll never understand each other, do you hear me? Don't get mad at me. I'm just here to make a couple things clear and get a couple things straight. You are not a co-parent if you just see your kids on the weekend. You are not a co-parent if all you think you got to do is pay child support. This is what co-parenting is. Co-parenting is when there's two parents and they're equally involved in their children's life slash their activities. And those same two parents share the same responsibilities and obligations. Co-parenting is simply like, I drop him or her off and you just pick him or her up. Co-parenting is, I'll bring the game snacks this week, you just get them next week. Co-parenting is, hey look, I might not be able to make it to that teacher conference, pick up the slack for me though. Co-parenting is like, look, she got an extra expense going on this month, like, I took it last month, you got it this month. Listen, I don't care what nobody else got to say. If that other parent can't count on you like that, then you're not the co-parent. Nope, this is not up for debate. This trend that they got going on now of like just a weekend or just part-time, whatever they call it, is not parenting. Don't shoot the messenger, but if you ain't doing any of the things that I talked about, all you are doing, is simply visiting your child and you wrong. I'm not here to bash you, but I'm here to speak the truth. If this sounds like you, then there's really only one parent maintaining the child while you get them um, the little every other weekend, couple weekends out the month to do the fun, cool stuff. You are in fact single with a kid or kids that you get sometimes but you live your life 90% of the time with no responsibilities and no obligations. I don't know if you gotta replay this video. I don't really care what you gotta do, but there is, in fact, a huge difference. And I'm not talking to the parents that are trying to be in their children's life and the other parents just bitter, don't know, I, I just acting all out. I'm not talking to y'all before you comment and say, what about the parent that's keeping, I'm, I, I went through that and I don't really agree with none of that, but I'm the person that will put myself on child support and I don't care how much money I got to pay. I will be in my child's life. I will be in my children's life. You got your own opinions and I got mine. Peace. I'm I don't believe in co-parenting. So I like this guy. I really do. I like this guy. I fortunately think that he's slightly misguided. I'd love to talk to him. In fact, what he's describing is not co-parenting. What he's describing is marriage. What he says is if you are with somebody and you can't depend on that other parent to be in that child's life equally and exactly the way you are, well, and listen, I, I'm like him. I'm not trying to be mean to nobody. I'm not trying to, but I can say this. People who only hear soft things live hard lives. And people who always hear hard things live soft lives. And this is a hard thing. And we've got to remember that. If you want to live a soft life, you've got to hear some hard truths. And here's a hard truth. The hard truth is we've already settled this idea of separate but equal back in the civil rights movement. There is an inability to be both separate and equal in parenting or really in anything else. So the fact is, if you are living separately from your child, you are not parenting your child. How do I know? I'll tell you how I know, because I know what parenting is. Parenting is this, and I discuss this a lot in my book. Parenting is this, the job of the parent. I've said it before, but I'm going to keep saying it. The job of the parent is that the child is supposed to be able to watch two 
people, their parents, who share their biological equipment confront the environment over time. Let me explain what that means. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine the other day, and we were talking about boys, specifically about boys, but this is implications on boys, girls, it doesn't matter, it's the child. But in this conversation, we were talking about boys who are not living with their fathers. And I was saying, the issue with not living with your father is this. The deal for men is that men have to learn how to manage their emotions and manage their temper. Most young men that find themselves in trouble in terms of jail and other things, it is often the result of poor management of their temper and poor management of their emotions. How does a young man learn that? Young men learn how to manage their temper and their emotions by watching their father. They watch their father confront the environment. What do I mean? Get pissed off at a store, get cut off on the highway while driving, be shortchanged in a deal with a friend who never paid him back, lose a job, get a great job, have a problem, have a sickness of a parent, maybe bury a parent, God forbid, bury a child, go into financial difficulties, have great financial success. All of these things that is, happen in the life of your parent, you get to, that's the environment. You get to watch the same person who has the same biological chemical stock that you have. That's what you're made of. You're made of what they are made of. You get to watch them go through each and every one of those events. And if you have good parents, you watch them manage themselves, manage their behavior, manage their emotions, and manage their ego and all of the things that have to be managed to live a successful life. When you are living away from your child, they do not. They are robbed of the ability to get to watch you in all of those moments you can't hide. Because when you live cross town and you may see your kid, but if there's an issue, you may be able to go home and privately handle that issue. If you have to, you know, God forbid, you know, bury a parent or bury a loved one, how you're grieving. You may be able to see your child at the appointed times and then privately handle your grief. When you live in the house with someone, you cannot privately manage those things. Those things happen in front of your children and they're supposed to happen in front of your children and they are supposed to happen in front of your children for a reason because your children are supposed to say, this is my roadmap. This is how I know to live. This is my guide. And the reason the parent is the guide is because the parent shares the exact same biological and chemical makeup as a child. So things that are challenging for parents are very likely to be challenging for children. And how parents negotiate and manage them is probably the best way that child is going to negotiate and manage them. So yes, I'm sorry, it is a hard reality. Remember, you have to hear hard things to live a soft life. There is no such thing as co-parenting. Co-parenting is impossible. But the good news is, what is possible is to raise your children in marriage. Now that you can do. And that will work out nine out of 10 times, or at least eight out of 10 times. That will work out well. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification button so you'll know the next time I drop a video. Thank you for visiting my channel. Please come back and visit my channel again and watch another video. Can't wait to see you. Bye-bye.